This is a Raspberry Pi Model 4B. And this is a Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4. And this is a Raspberry Pi 400. It's got a quad-core Cortex A72 processor clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. Comes in up to 8 gigabytes of RAM, camera connector, display connector, USB-C for power and data, two micro HDMI and audio jack, gigabit Ethernet, two USB 3, two USB 2s. On the bottom, you got a micro SD card slot that you can run your favorite flavor of Linux, and of course, the classic Raspberry Pi 40-pin GPIO for you to attach different hats on. Now, when the Model 4B came out, it was legendary as it made it easier than ever to run emulators, web servers, and anything running Linux as it booted in seconds. Moving on to the introverted CM4, it has no visible I.O., two 100-pin connectors on the bottom, also comes up to 8 gigabytes of RAM. You can get them with or without Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and they also come with or without built-in eMMC. Now, when you have a CM4 with built-in eMMC, you need a flash stick to actually flash the firmware onto it. Also, when you have built-in eMMC, you won't be able to boot from the SD card. And to save you the headache, just make sure you get a CM4 Lite. That way you can boot from an SD card. I personally love the CM4 and love the CM4 form factor because it spawns some of the best tech that is out today. Like the U console from Clockwork Pi, as well as the ability to build your own mini cyber deck with the Raspberry Pad 5 by Big Tree Tech. The CM4 is also attributed to being the reason why so many SOMs and SBCs exist today with its form factor. Moving on to the Raspberry Pi 400, it's essentially a portable keyboard with the Raspberry Pi is built inside. It's got the classic 40 pin GPIO that you can expand with the Flat Hat Hacker by Pi Maroni, a micro SD card slot for you to flash your operating system on. Two micro HDMI, one USB-C, two USB-3s, one USB-2, and gigabit Ethernet. You also have three status LEDs at the top, and the keyboard, although nothing to brag about, gets the job done. And to avoid this being a teardown, just imagine a very long rectangular Raspberry Pi. And even though these devices have been replaced by the Pi 5, CM5, and Pi 500, the fourth generation of Raspberry Pi computers made history. We go over different SBCs, SOMs, and variations of tech daily, so if you'd like to see more, we'll see you next time.